So you're a beginner with this whole entrepreneur thing. What should you get involved in? What should be your path? What should you pick? Oh my God, there's so many things. All these people are talking about wanting to sell you a lifestyle. We're here to sell you a life. Selling on Amazon has absolutely changed our lives. So guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. I'm Rico, also known as the Dropshipping Terminator. Thanks to Mark over there at No BS Dropshipping. Me and my partner, Dan, we talk all about that Amazon life, Amazon FBA, private label dropshipping, and general entrepreneur type things, which is what we're gonna get into today, so stick around. If that sounds good to you, then make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, stick around, get into the free Facebook group below so we can help you out and give you all that knowledge so you can go make some money. Now, let's go ahead. For all you regulars, you know what time it is? It's time to get right into it. So, you're new. You're trying to get into the whole entrepreneur thing. You got your mindset right. You're feeling good. You done told your homeboys you're going to be rich. You're like, yo, man, I'll be out there with Jet Set Fly right. Be driving them Bentleys. Be hanging out with big booty Bettys out there on boats. On not even boats, on yachts. You know, we're going to be out there with Tanner Fox driving Lambos. Little Tanner driving Porsches and hanging out with other dudes. And, you know, Casey in the, the Empire House and blah, 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 right? But you don't even know where to start. You are you sitting there all big promises you have no idea right okay cool gotcha though gotcha my man or or my gal we got gotcha. you so what we're going to talk about is how you guys can start getting into entrepreneurial type endeavors and, and what works for you now this is going to be for the people who don't really know now if you already know what you want to do how you going to do it hey by all means you can go ahead and skip this it's cool no hard feelings. But for the people that don't know, we got to help y'all out, man. We got to help them out too. We need to make sure everybody has the opportunity to make that money. It ain't just about you trying to make money. What about the people that don't know what they want to do? All right. So when it comes down to selling online, now you may want to sell online. You may want to get into e-commerce, which is perfectly fine, but it is not for everyone. You need to decide. Well, you, you can't even decide. You just need to know if you're someone who can deal with people, deal with the public, because you have to deal with customers. And when things don't go right, you can't blame anybody else, okay? You have to blame yourself because you are the business owner. If we don't make any money on Amazon, it ain't nobody else's fault. Because people ain't buying, ain't they fault that they don't want to buy from us. It's our fault because we're not providing value. We're not giving them something that they want to buy. We're not captivating them enough. You need to be able to accept that responsibility. You need to be able to accept that onus. That is a lot to deal with, guys. Like, you could go from making half a million dollars to making no money if something happens. Like, what happens if, if the platform shut down or it says, hey, you can't do this anymore? What are you going to do? How are you going to adapt? How are you going to adjust and change? Think about it. You know, Gosh, it's a very real possibility, guys. People get suspended on Amazon every single day for random things. I mean, are you going to spend the money to get back, you know, on track? You know, if you're making $20,000 a month, you're going to spend it two, three thousand $3,000 with a, an Amazon suspension lawyer to get unsuspended? Like, is it worth it to you? Like, you know, eBay, when you get put in PayPal jail, you know, are you going to take money out of your personal bank account to float that business? You know, Shopify, are you going to take money out of your personal bank account to, to pay for those ads or pay for someone to do your website? Because that's what it really takes. Because them websites look like hot doo-doo. Straight up. Some of y'all websites look like trash. Like trash flavored trash. And y'all trying to pass them off as a business. Hey, get out of here. Now, when it comes to social media marketing, you know, are you really good with social media marketing? Do you have do you have an Instagram account that you can grow that you've grown? Or you just like, oh yeah, I can run your your Instagram because I have like a thousand followers and blah, 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 and I know what I'm doing. Like, you need to know what you're doing. People are paying you for results. You need to make sure that you get those results. You need to make sure that those accounts are blossoming. Same thing with, you know, like Facebook pages, Snapchat, stuff like that, guys. You, you have to be on it. You know, social media marketing takes on a whole wide array of things. It's not just, oh, I'm going to grow an Instagram account. Like, you need to make sure that these people are getting in front of the right audience so that way they can make money. Your clients are depending on you to make money and if you don't make the money or you don't even know how to make money yourself with social media then you basically shot yourself in the foot and it's not a business model that you should get into if you can't help people make money not if you can't even make money in your own damn self then you don't need to be trying to help nobody else make no money straight up so let's go ahead let's let's get into you know a couple other things maybe coaching is for you all right maybe well, this thing about coaching all right we you know you guys know we coach people on amazon and it works out very well now, granted, we're not saying we're the best mentors ever. We're not saying we're the best coaches ever because we're rough. You know, I'm, I'm a very rough teacher. The students know this. I don't baby nobody. I'm like, look, I will spoon feed you the information. And if you still cannot make this work, I am not your mama. OK, I'm here to help you make one hundred thousand dollars. If you don't want to make one hundred thousand dollars, get out of my face. 
Period. Don't waste my time. If you ain't here to make $100,000, get out. You know, are you going to be able to do that? You know, are you going to be able to sit there and take responsibility for people if they fail? That That is hard, guys. Like, that is a hard thing to do. You know, when you coach somebody, when you teach somebody, when you're consulting with someone, if it goes wrong, that is all on you. You have to own that. You can't be like, oh, well, you did something wrong. Like, maybe they did do something wrong. But did you do everything in your power everything to help them make money if not then it's all on you man it is all on you and you have to own that and sometimes people are not polite sometimes people will take their money back they do chargebacks you know if they pay you through a credit card there's all types of stuff that could happen and you have to be prepared for that you have to you have to want to deal with that 24 months of eating shit to be able to eat caviar for the rest of your life you know we have consulting sides on our, you know, with our day jobs, you know, so we still consult with people on engineering projects like software engineering or networking or, or um, network engineering, those types of things. And we charge people anywhere from two to four hundred dollars, if not more, depending on a project an hour. You know, if something goes wrong, that's on us. That's our fault. That means we didn't do something right. You got to be willing to accept that. You have to be willing to accept the fact that you may have messed up and then be able to make it right. And it's a hard thing to do sometimes. But, you know, if you're not that kind of person that wants to own up and accept their responsibility, it's probably not for you. Uh, affiliate marketing is another one that everybody tosses around these days. You know, oh, affiliate marketing, yeah, man, you know, you can make so much money and blah, 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 blah. You can. You can make a whole lot of money with affiliate marketing, okay? But it, you need to have the right opportunities, you know, for people. You know, people aren't just going to buy random products. Like, you have to be able to market to them in a certain way. And marketing is very difficult. Okay, marketing is not as easy as you guys think it is. It's not just a bunch of running Facebook ads and stuff like that. You have to know what in the world you're doing. You have to be able to get those products in front of the right people. Do you know how to do that? Have you ever done that before? Have you ever, you know, gotten people to buy something, whether from you or from someone else online before? If the answer is no, chances are affiliate marketing is probably not going to be the best thing for you because you do have to be kind of internet savvy it's not one of those things you can just pick up and be like i'm going to make a million dollars like it starts small and it grows okay it grows over time it takes a little bit but you can get there all right it just takes a little while that's all there it's it, it's very time consuming in the beginning but once you have your system set up you can make a whole lot of money with it okay so there's that um what about you know kind of like the flipping business uh, when it comes to flipping things, like you kind of have to know what to look for. Okay, Craigslist is the perfect place to do it. I, you know, we've made a video on it. How you guys can make five hundred dollars within a weekend selling free items on Craigslist. Literally free items. Like the free section in Craigslist is literally a treasure trove. If you're hard pressed for money, then that's the place to go. But let's talk about you know the whole flipping business. It is time consuming and it's very physical, and you're always looking for the best deals. You're constantly sifting through you know Craigslist or eBay or whatever, trying to find the best deals. So that way you can get out there and sell those products for conceivably more. I mean, even if you sold a product for five dollars and you got it for free, you still made money. All right, that's huge. That's a big, big, big jump. But you know, you have to know what sells and what doesn't. You have to spend the time. You're going to have to drive around. Are you going to be willing to put those miles in your car? Or if you have no car, you're going to be willing to take an Uber or a bus or whatever to get to where you need to go. If you're not, then it's not for you. You know, it takes a lot of hustle. It takes a lot of grind and you have to be willing. And a lot of people aren't willing. Despite what people say, you know, they feel good when they watch those motivational videos and like, I'm going to go out there and do it. And then the next 20 minutes they're sitting on their butts, twiddling their thumbs with feathers up their butt, you know, crowing like a freaking rooster. But hey, it is what it is. Tutoring. Tutoring is another one that, you know, you can make a lot of money with actually. I made a little bit of money when I was tutoring kids, you know, on math when I was doing, you know, helping them do their calculus homework. I was not doing their calculus homework for them. Penn State don't come back and I don't want to hear that. Like I was not, I was not doing that. I was not violating college rules. All right. But um, yeah, so you could do that. But on the same token, like it gets kind of busy because people have cut throat pricing with tutoring like people are charging you know five ten bucks an hour to tutor them on subjects like calculus and stuff like that maybe it's not even worth your time like is it worth spending two three hours to make 20 30 bucks maybe maybe not depends on how many people you're doing per day or, or how many people you can squeeze in you know per week or, or whatnot but again you have to accept that onus like if you teach them something wrong if you're not a an expert at it and you need to be an expert you can't tutor somebody if you're not an expert straight up like if you're not an expert just stop stop listening right now don't do this method but you can make money with this easily if you're an expert because everyone 
everywhere is willing to pay somebody to do something that they don't necessarily want to do. You know, some people don't want, you know, or maybe they're having trouble doing something. You know, in the case of tutoring, maybe they're having trouble with their math or history. Um, you know, maybe physics homework is very tough, science in general, and you can tutor them with that. You can help them. And it, it does something great for the, you know, for societies. People are able to, to advance further in their education. You're able to make some money, but you still have to deal with the, the forward facing, you know, client facing side. And if you're not really a people person or can convey your thoughts in a way that, you know, get the point across and you're kind of boned on that one. So there's that. But either way, you guys have to look at it, you know. So we just covered a, a few of the things that we've done, you know, to make money. But um, yeah, those are some of the pitfalls that you're going to have to deal with, you know, as a beginner. Like what is right for you as a beginner? You know, and you guys really have to think about it. You know, some people come out of their shells in certain um, in, in certain spaces. You know, some people who really, really suck at affiliate marketing are just fantastic at e-commerce. Like I'm not the greatest at affiliate marketing. I'd be the first ones to tell you. I don't necessarily like it that much. But, you know, we make money with affiliate offers and, you know, but we make a whole lot of money on Amazon. So I'm way better at e-commerce, baby. Way better at e-commerce. And for me, it's fun. You know, I like seeing those numbers. I like seeing the money going. I'm not all about like that retail arbitrage life where, you know, these guys are selling two million a year and only getting five percent. Like that's just not for me. I ain't doing that crap. But, you know, I, I mean, I like, I, you know, I like it. I like the hustle, man. I like the grind. That's what it is. When you're in e-commerce, it's kind of a grind. And other, you know, avenues, it's it's a real big grind. And they're just some things that I enjoy, which is why I don't flip stuff on Craigslist like that anymore. Besides the fact I really don't have time because we're providing content for you guys and answering questions all the time and stuff and helping students. But, like, I just don't want to spend that time, you know, hustling. I just don't. I make more than enough money on Amazon. I ain't getting out there and hustling. Like, <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But uh, yeah, so, you know, if you're trying to get in, into your entrepreneur journey, then hey, those are things that can help you out, hopefully. You know, if you guys have any questions, always reach out to us, you know, check out the links below. You know, there's plenty of information to help you guys out. As always, man, be safe, be smart. You know, the new year is upon us, guys. New year is upon us. Make sure that you guys follow through with your, you know, follow through with your resolutions. Okay, that's, that's what I want to hear, you know, going into 2019. I want to hear that you're motivated. I want to hear that you're dedicated. I want to hear that you're really going to make some money because you guys, everyone can, everyone can do this. Everyone has an opportunity for change. Everyone has an opportunity to make money. If you choose not to do that, that's on you, but follow through and you guys will be successful always. All right, later.